Series. It's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 18th through to the 24th of January. Hope everybody's good. Um, please keep in mind these are general reasons, they won't resonate with everybody. Um, take what you can and discard the rest. And lovelies, just keep in mind that this could be something that's happening around you rather than to you as well. Um, so hit that like button if you like what you see. Hit the red subscribe button and the bell beside it so you get notified when I am uh, putting up videos. And lovelies, I very rarely hear from Aries in the comments. So if you fancy it, leave me a comment. I do respond to everybody. So, my lovely Aries, we have got your current situation, and then we've got you facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Manifestation and wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked. And then your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, Aries. Oh, okay. your hands the reconnecting to the true you and that's your outcome darling so my lovely lovely Aries what started the what the fuck darling you've been a bit unkind to yourself you have the charity card you have the six of pentacles this is about giving and taking with dignity and grace this isn't corporate giving and taking put that to one side this is a kind word and what i clearly heard was is that you haven't got many kind words for yourself currently and you need to get back into that you need to keep telling yourself you're good at what you do you You've got the passion, you've got the desire, you can get things done, you know you can. But you, in order to be kind to other people and give that kind of energy out to other people, you need to be giving it to yourself. And you need to start um, at home with that kind of energy. So, Dines, when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, say some kind words to yourself. Say what you like about yourself. Don't get into what you don't like about yourself because... Once you start to learn to like bits about you, other bits will fall into place that you will like about you. Um, and those bits that you really don't like, that you really have a problem with, then that will give you the room and the energy to do something about that, to change that. Um, but darling, start with you. Start with number one. Start saying those nice things to you. Um, and allow it to come into you. If some male or female, if somebody opens a door for you, don't grunt at them. Say thank you. Be grateful. If somebody talks to you at the bus stop, do not think that they're insane. Think that they may be lonely. And you saying hello back may be the only interaction they get with another human being this week, next week, maybe even for a month. So just keep in mind that when we talk about charity, we talk about giving and taking with dignity and grace, we're talking about the very basics, getting back to basic human value where charity started. You know, offering somebody a cup of coffee because they're cold, offering somebody a kind word at the news agents or tipping I'm because I've I've seen a lot of people wear these peaky blinder caps, and I'm getting that maybe you need to tip. You guys need to tip your hat at people, and you ladies just need to nod in the right direction. Stop worrying about human interaction, 
um, it's it's supposed to be. It is supposed to be. And I know everybody's scared at the moment. I understand that. But you still need that human interaction from other people, whether it's a metre away, two metres away, across a bloody field, across the other side of the city. You still need that human interaction. Do not get scared of it. But start with you. Start having those kind words. Start thinking about what you like about you. And give yourself some credit as well. What on earth is that all about? Give yourself some credit. You are a beautiful human being. You just need to allow yourself to be a beautiful human being. I'm getting that people are... Aries, why are you grunting at people? It's not your place to do the roaring. That's Leo's place. Your, your place is to be passionate... Arrogant, maybe, but passionate and desirable and all of those things, male or female. So, don't please be kind to yourself. You are, you're the fire in the whole of Zodiac. And if you're not burning bright, there's no hope for the rest of us. So, darlings, face your fears and taking your power back. I'm getting that you're... Now, normally when I see this card, I, I see it all different ways. But this particular time, when I laid this down, I thought, oh, my God, you're missing something or somebody. There's something going on where you are missing something or somebody. Um, you shed some light into the wild hunt, which has brought home a truth or an untruth. Or it's made you uncomfortable to think that you may have had some... Um, part to play and we all have parts to play in every fucking scenario that goes on in our lives but i think there's been a, you're missing something or somebody and you've thrown some light and you've actually had to admit to yourself that part of this um tower crumpling um is an action from yourself as well as an action from another and i'm getting that you're stalemated and what the wild hunt is telling you Either rebuild your tower and move the rubble out of the way so you can both grow from this experience or clear the decks and rebuild completely and just cut your losses. But you are missing, and look, you're there. You are there, you are stepping back into your power. Aries, king of uh, wands, my God. You know this king. This king is the king of desire. Male or female. You know um, the passion that you've got. You know the passion you can offer other people. The fire is burning bright. You really do need to do something about these two cards. Because you are, you're beginning to face this. But you're still sitting and going, yeah, well, it just happens, doesn't it? I'm just, I'm just passionate, I'm just desirable. And it just, no, you need to work on this, lovelies, you do. You do need to work on it, and you do need to make that decision. Now you know the truth within yourself, and you don't have to admit the truth from anybody else. Either work on resolving this, or work to let it go. Because I'm getting that, while you're in this mode... You're not moving into taking your power back and you really want to. And that is the process. Sort this out. You'll step back into your power. And then you will feel really relieved with the Ten of Wands. Because this burden and time that you have been feeling is coming to a conclusion. And you have, have, have got the conclusion that you have picked up so many issues and problems from other people. You haven't actually dealt with your own issues and problems. Um, you're too, too involved in getting a solution for other people. And what you need to do is put those sticks down and go, uh-uh, they're your sticks. I'm not carrying them. I will walk beside you. I will help you resolve things. But you need to do it for yourself. You really do. Do you know that seems to be a theme this week? Doing it for yourself. So, darlings, your wish fulfilment, your manifestation, why it may be fucked up. Oh, Aries. You have the eight of chalices. This is you wanting to go out on a venture. This, or an adventure even, or a quest. This is you being a little bit confused about where you want to go. 
this is your chalices are all in the upright and have got your back and the sun is shining a bit hazy because you're a bit confused the sun is saying am i shining am i pissing off do i know what to do no i don't so hang on a minute i'll do some hazy sunshine so they know i'm here and i'm giving them the yes but they need to make up their minds on where they're going to go that's your wish fulfillment really just Donnie's you know you've got a job to do you know you've got a job to do it's this one here um but you are in two minds about what it is that you want to do so you're manifesting manifesting what do I do what do I do what do I do the universe ain't going to give you that answer the universe wants to see some action from you in order for them to understand where you stand and my lovelies in your manifestation in your heart of hearts you have got the three of chalices you want a celebration with friends family and community you really do want this celebration and i'm kind of getting that you missing whoever this is you really do need to make a decision about this because uh, it is going to eat you alive if you don't so lovelies right in behind that your wish fulfillment, your manifestation's not fucked. You just haven't learnt the words properly yet. The fairy's asking you to get into the eternal waters to heal. We're always healing from something. We, um, do you know what? We can heal and heal and heal about the same thing over and over again. And it will still come to bite us on the arse. Um, for a different reason. It may have it, Something may have come up that has made it a bit emotional. It's, it's put us right back to where we think is square one. But it's not. It's just another part of it that we're dealing with. So get into the throes that you don't always heal entirely. You just make things a bit easier to live with. Um, time is not a healer. Time gives you space between the incident and what happened. And that is your healing time. Um, time doesn't actually do the healing. You do the healing. And you keep doing the healing over and over again then that fairy is saying to you make the wish regardless of whether you're healed or not make that wish come true because this is your, you want this wish you want it and you're manifesting you're wishing and you're wondering why the fuck it's not happening it's because you are not actioning it you are not taking a step forward you're not taking a step back you're not clearing anything too clear this out of the way means that you clear room for new growth to happen either new growth or allowing old growth to come about again so just keep that in mind when you are dealing with this situation lovelies so darlings your movement your journey you've got the king of cups now for some of you this is going to be an energy around you for some of you it's going to be yourself now, for those of you that have got a water sign around you or somebody who's got watery essence around them, they come around as being loving, caring, giving, um, all the rest of it, but maybe a bit wishy-washy. They don't mean to be. They just don't like offering how they feel on their sleeve. They just don't do it. And when I laid this card down, I clearly heard still waters run deep. So that brings me to those of you that are experiencing this when i say still waters run deep i really mean that and aries for you to bury your feelings that deep into water you've either been really hurt or you don't want to be hurt and do you know what that's part of the human condition it is how do we know the good without the bad how do we know that we're being hurt if we've never experienced being loved do you see where i'm coming from so it's a little bit unfair to somebody on the receiving end if they never get anything back from you. If they don't get that interaction back with you because you've suddenly got scared of letting your flame fire up brightly. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that you... Do you know when you see those depictions in films of hell and you see the um, bloke puffing the air into that fire and he goes... <sighs> did it? That's how I see your passion wants to come out, your desire 
wants to come out but you are sending it into the water so deeply that it's actually fizzling it's like pfft, really come on Aries get a freaking grip don't just sit at a table with somebody and honor them don't sit at a table eat a meal and raise a glass to them if you're not willing to go the whole nine yards with them just don't do it because that's unfair But if it is somebody around you, they're doing exactly the same to you, my darlings. And I'm getting that you either need to verbalise what it is, what you want, or you need to just let this energy flow away from your energy because I'm getting they're suffocating you, babe. Male or female, they're suffocating you. Water sign or somebody with water energy. So, what you can do about the situation, you have the standing stone. This is natural justice coming into play a part. The scales are in balance. The labyrinth is now clear for you to explore and see where it takes you. You are highly protected. You have the beautiful little daisies for strength. And the reason we say da daisies are so strong is because you lop their heads off and they grow back. Simple as. Uh, the sun is shining on you as well, darling. So, this natural justice is going to come in you just need to understand that with natural justice you don't have to do anything but you can't just wait around for natural justice to happen you have to be actioning the things that you want to happen in order for natural justice to clear out the things that you don't want so my lovelies what you can't do anything about what the fuck is out of your hands the universe wants you to go back to basics it really does and I get that you get that you need to go back to basics. You need to go back to your grassroots. You need to understand how to protect yourself, but not protect yourself to the point where you are actually repelling people away from you. Protection is not the same as um, rejection. It's not. It isn't. Protection, when you're protecting yourself, uh, means that you are willing and open to receive stuff but you're putting stuff in place so that you get the triggers you understand what it is that's going on really early on but it's not anything to do with rejection and don't let anybody ever buy you into that that it is protection is not rejection it really isn't so lovelies you will learn very much to learn you will learn to work with all of the elements earth for grounding you need that you do need that. You need water in order to understand your emotions. You need air to get your thoughts into action, but connect your thoughts and your physicality together. And then you've got your fire, which is your desire, your passion. You do need to work with all the elements to understand how to bring together protection and not rejection is what I'm getting. Now, at the moment, the universe is saying that is not anything you can do anything about. That is a realisation that you're coming to by yourself. They are working with you on this. And I'm getting that you're beginning to understand exactly what they're saying. Do not use old hurts to keep people at bay. Do not use your experiences of what you've had done to you to stop new energy coming into you because you at the end of the day will be harming you and that's what they're saying to you you have to when you're protecting it's not just protecting from outside forces you're protecting from within as well because you can do just as much harm to yourself as other people can do to you it depends on your acceptance level so darlings moving into um Sorry, guys, my brain just went complete. It's almost like they cleared that data out for me because that was a bit strong, wasn't it? So reconnecting to the true you, my lovelies, you have the five of wands. Now, in this deck, it is slightly different. This is the coming together of people that can make magic or they can make mischief. Now, when I looked at this card... um. I kind of get that you really do 
love making the magic um but i do get that you're quite mischievous as well and i do get that you do and do you know what i heard i heard hornet's nest you can stir up a hornet's nest and then you sit back and go well nothing nothing to do with me really okay so what they're saying to you is make magic learn to play learn to play let your hair down do not get into the throes that you need to stir up a hornet's nest in order to get the entertainment that you need or want so to reconnect to the true you take the sting out of things lovelies you know kind of like use your desire for positives and not for negatives so that's how you're going to reconnect to your true self um, and keep the hornet's nest in your head because I think that's a really good analogy that you can when you're making magic or mischief when it's the mischief side you may not see the hornet's nest but other people feel it um, so just be really careful that if you are about to make mischief and keep karma in mind because let me tell you if you're making mischief um, that will come back to bite you as much as the karma of making magic will come back in spades and give you a lot of blessings so just be really aware of that and it is a wand card, so it is fire. So the outcome, darlings, this is the Seven of Pentacles. This is the craftsman. He is understanding that he has got a lot of blessings in front of him. Um, sometimes you might have to choose, but I, the, just this last week or so, I've been kind of getting that people have got these blessings. And it is down to your choice. It's about you being kind to yourself and understanding all these blessings are yours they're yours to do what you want with they are ideas inspirations thoughts they're your finances your family life your career um, and these blessings have been presented to you in order for you to make a good decision about what it is that you want going forward do you want to be in a career that you love do you want to be your own boss do you want to have um, a good family? Or do you want a combination of all of that? You know, these are your blessings for you to choose what you want um, going forward. And look at the bottom of the deck, darlings. Aries, you have got the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. This is you drawing down energy from the sun. This is you understanding that those cherries are beginning to ripen and that you really want to wave that magic wand in order to make something happen. It can be a project, a plan, or it could be something that's very passionate. So, lovelies, let's get a Whispering Woods card for your thought for the week. Thank you. And you've got idle hours. Take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. It's telling you to have a rest, Aries. Have a rest, my darlings. Let's put that there. And then we're going to turn to the angels and ancestors. And we're going to ask for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. Wow. Really? That many? You got off the bloody deck out here. So the two that are the most relevant are these two, Heart Guardian Love and Let Yourself Be Loved and the Spring See Your Seeds Grow. And then this little lot that fell out, they're, I suppose they're just as important, but it kind of elongates the point, me thinks. What happened to that card? What's there? It kind of helps the point go through autumn. Release the old and rest. You've already been told to rest. Warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Aries, I don't think you've got a problem with that actually, lovelies. You just need reminding. Direction Guardian. Choose your path. You have Father Sky. Trust in the unknown. Aries. High Priestess. Harness mystic powers. Shield Maiden. Make plans and focus. See us, see beyond the current situation. Absolutely, that is to do with that. Medicine Garden Guardian, be open to healing information. 
the trader exchange energy to create abundance and winter take care of your needs Aries darlings that's your reading 18th to the 24th wherever you are in the world please 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 be safe be happy be healthy and I will catch you in the next reading bye for now